Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric Shoji, professional volleyball player and libero for Team USA. I'm here to react to and analyze different volleyball matches from around the world in hopes of inspiring, educating, and hopefully having a little bit of fun with volleyball nerds just like me from all around the world. So if you love volleyball just as much as I do, subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos every week. All right, guys, before we get into today's video, quick update from Russia. I had a game on Wednesday in Kuzbas Kemerovo in Siberia, a four hour flight from Moscow with a four hour time change. What, what, what? Anyway, unfortunately we lost 3-2. Such a tough match. We were up 2-0, let them back into it and lost the fifth, 15-13. Such an unfortunate loss. But I will link the match in the description below. So if you would like to watch our team blow a 2-0 lead, Go ahead. So for today's video, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to watch. So I literally just searched volleyball in YouTube and this video came up, 200 IQ volleyball, smartest plays in volleyball. And I thought that was pretty interesting. So we're gonna watch it, we're gonna react and analyze it. And after I'm gonna talk about a couple of ways that we can increase our volleyball IQ to just play better on the court. So let's do it. Let's go. Nice pass. <laughs> that is a smart play. Maruf does that all the time. He goes up like he's gonna set it and just brings his hands down and it tricks the blockers. We actually call it the Maruf sometimes because he does it that often. <laughs> okay, that's a great free ball pass. I mean, Gianelli is super tall, so he can do that. I don't know if that's like a smart play, but it's an effective one. <laughs> Again, William does that all the time too. I don't know what it is about like smaller setters, but I don't, they just trick the blockers. Maybe they can't see them or something. But watch, he goes up with his hands. Boom, brings them down right over the net. That's a smart play. Oh, I've seen this rally before. What an up! <laughs> okay, Libero on fire. That's a smart play right there, bringing it back off the block. <laughs> Ishikawa with the fake hit set. Nishida with the no one up. Are you kidding? <laughs> Look at that. He practices that all the time though. I played with him for a year. That's why he can do that. I mean, that's smart. Definitely been beaten by that shot before, so I know how it feels. I think with one hand though, as a defender, you kind of got to move up and be ready. It's a tough one. Oh, it's us. <laughs> okay, hold on. First of all, you know how many times we've tried that and it failed in games? And also, the amount of times that we've been yelled at for trying that in games and it failing, so... I'm glad it worked out that time. <laughs> Look at us, we're like, it finally worked. That was a great serve by Matt. I, I mean, I don't even know if we were, who was talking there. Was there some communication? It worked. Ben with the off blocker. Dave's so good at that. And I don't know if that's smart, but he's really good at just going up and hitting the ball quick. That was a nice up and a nice hit. All right, so if the, if the pass is like quick like that, the setter's more likely to dump. So you kind of got to be ready, but I can understand that against Brazil and that middle blocker coming at you that you're not gonna 
move up to the three meter line. Wow, I've never seen that guy do that before. That was a great up by my roof just to put it perfectly on the three meter line and he came flying in. Watch that. That's why blockers get fooled when they set because sometimes these hitters are so good they're gonna hit it. Okay, with that serve. Goosebumps, literally. I mean, they do that so often. I don't know how. Like, on the ground, back, quick. What is that even called? I don't even know. And then there's Lucas with that arm. Great serve. Oh. That was interesting. I mean, front row setters are always ready to do that. That's like their dream. Watch. Yeah. Front, they're always ready. And they should be. I mean, people put it short there a lot. I mean, that was a point. I don't know if that was smart. It was a good play. That was, that was a better hit than I thought it was. Nice up by that. Oh. Did he jump backwards and hit that ball? That libero with another dig, are you kidding? That's insane, Nishida is literally like my height, maybe an inch taller. Great up. It's a nice cover by the guy too. Oh. That's something you gotta watch out for, for Brazil. They do it quite often. That's like, no <laughs> Great play. Ooh, nice one hand up. Sam, I think that's Sam with the deep tip. He is a smart player. Just saw that open court, maybe. That deep tip. Somebody gotta go for that though. Did he stop his arm? Another one of these setters. Replay, replay. Fake block. I'm not sure what happened there because the lefty went up to hit it. Oh, oh. That was just a weird play. An overpass to an overpass. Everything got out of sorts. Pretty nice hit. I just played against that setter on Wednesday. Gosh, he's so good at that short serve. <laughs> That's just insane. I mean, smart, sure, insanely athletic, yes. What? Nice up. <laughs> Nico Lagoff, I played with him two years. He loves doing that. He just goes up and hopes that it comes in his area. Look at that. He just, you're not supposed to do that, but it clearly worked out. Great dig. Nice up, way to use the little, what is that, a barrier? 
<laughs> Why was he even there for that dump? Oh, Brazil ended up winning the point. That was sick though. Great ups by Ingepet, and then Grabenikov uses the barrier to kind of like propel himself to get the ball. Nishida serve. Japanese libero with another up. What do you know? Great rotation on that defense. Another dig, what do you know? What a cover. Another up. Wow. Iran ended up winning the point. That's the kind of defense Japan plays all the time though. Oh, I remember this game. Ah, oh, we got to put that away. Nice up, Micah. Dave Lee! How did we get that over? Oh. We tried really hard. Oh, it's us again. Oh, oh, it is us again. Nice up, Matt. Great defense. Oh, this match. Oh, that was it. Michael with the lefty. I can't even, what? Go, go. Why didn't we go for that? Ugh. Oh, that was it. So I had no idea that video was ending there, which is why it was like super awkward at the end, but that was a cool video. All like the smartest volleyball players I've ever seen. Probably not. Maybe I'm just in a bad mood from losing and traveling yesterday, but some awesome volleyball plays. Obviously, these are some of the best players in the world. And what I hope you guys can see is that there's so many different ways to play volleyball, so many creative styles, creative plays, and there's not just one way to play. There's obviously so many successful teams out there that are all playing differently, which is so awesome to see and which were highlighted in this video. Speaking of volleyball IQ, I think there are a couple of ways to increase your volleyball IQ. And the first one is pretty obvious. Play more volleyball. Get out there, practice, play, wherever, with whoever, whenever. I think the more you play, the smarter you're gonna get, the smarter plays you're gonna make, and you're gonna figure out more ways to win, which is always important. So get out there and play. I think the second way to raise your volleyball IQ is to do exactly what we're doing right now watch more video, watch more film. These players are obviously so physically talented, but they also have a very, very high volleyball IQ. So watch them, watch your favorite team, watch your favorite player, see how they play, figure out what they're doing on the court, and then take that back into practice or the matches. I think that's only gonna raise your volleyball IQ and you're only gonna play better because of it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today on Smart Plays and Volleyball IQ. If you have any questions about volleyball or volleyball IQ or playing smarter volleyball, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great weekend. Get out, play some volleyball, have some fun, and I will see you all soon. Peace.